Welcome on into the studio, Megan O'Brien. Joining me now is ESPN's Lewis Riddick. Lewis, the Patriots have been very active. What's been your reaction to their free agency splurge? Yeah, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I thought this was something that maybe Bill would do. They planned, you know, to have all this capital at their disposal in terms of salary cap space and cash to be able to go ahead and take advantage of a market that was going to be a buyer's market. And man, oh man, have they ever done that. And I, but I don't think it's just been haphazard spending. It's just not just been, let's just open our wallet and just dish out money to everyone. This has been very targeted. It's been very methodical, very planned out. And I think you will see New England back to where they are accustomed to being, which is right in the thick of the Super Bowl hunt in 2021. Wow, Super Bowl hunt in 2021. But Lewis, there's still a big question for all of Patriots fans and, and on this roster too. And that's who's going to be the Patriots quarterback. Given how active they've been, does that lessen the chance that they move up and draft a guy? And I think they're, without a doubt, going to see if they can move into a position where if there's somebody who they really like and they think can address their long-term uh, concerns at that position, they will address it. And I also wouldn't just rule out the veteran market at this point in time in terms of them acquiring somebody that's more of a more has, that has more of a veteran resume. So let's just let that play itself out. I think right now we want all the answers like right away because it seems like Bill said, well, here I have an answer for pass rush. I have an answer for tackle. I have an answer for a, you know, a, a movable chess piece at defensive back and I have an answer for everything. Let him take some time with this one because this is the biggest one. And this is the one that can really, really put them, I don't want to say back on top, but right, at, but right back there at the top where they belong. Well, we know Trevor Lawrence is obviously the clear-cut number one guy, but how do you have the rest of them ranked? Yeah, you know what? I just had this conversation with Charlie Weiss and, you know, the ex-coordinator up there in New England. And, you know, I really do – I really do like Trey Lance a lot. And I, I probably the, – the more we move through this process, the more him and Zach Wilson are fighting it out in my mind for possibly QB number two. I think Mac Jones is right in there too because of the fact that mentally from a decision-making and from a decision-making accuracy standpoint, I think he is right there with the tops of him, if not the number one guy, although athletically he's not of the same caliber. So I think he's right in there too for quarterback number two. I think Justin Fields is probably the best athlete of all of them. It just depends what guy you like. I mean, so I know I know I didn't really answer your question, and I think I did that on purpose. Because I'm so partial to the mental aspect of the game, I'm higher on Mac Jones than many other people are. Although, like I said, Charlie Weiss thinks he's the best quarterback in this draft. June Jones, you know, the vaunted run and shoot coordinator from the Falcons, thinks he's the best quarterback in this draft. I'm a, I'm a Mac Jones believer too. I, I'd love to see him in, you know, in that Patriot blue and white. That'd be pretty sweet. All right, Lewis, give us a day two quarterback that Patriots fans should keep their eye on. Day two quarterback. I would probably say, look, I don't, I don't think Kyle Trask goes in the first round, but I think he's the guy who outside of the, of the big guys who are going to go number one, you know, in the first round that you probably have to keep your eye on because he had just some ridiculously nice throws this year to a real good group of receivers. And he has thrown the guys like Kyle Pitts and, you know, Kadarius Tony, who were just, who were electric in their own right, and two guys who will probably go in the first round or could go in the first round. Pitts will go in the first round. I don't know if Tony will. But Kyle's just, you know, he, he's kind of like Mac Jones in terms of not being this dual threat type of guy that everybody wants, but he has real good arm talent, real smart, made some real difficult throws. As a matter of fact, some of the most difficult throws that these quarterbacks made this year were, you know, Kyle Tress throws that he made down there in Florida against real good competition. So keep your eye on him. Still some time to go before the NFL draft, and I'm sure you have plenty more to catch up on. Lewis Riddick from ESPN, thank you so much for the time.